A viral respiratory infection is typically in the upper airways, um, the throat, the nose, sometimes the ears can be affected as a effect of the illness. It can involve the chest as well and worsen into other conditions. There are multiple types of illnesses that can cause us upper respiratory infections. They can range from bacterial to viral to fungal. The most common is the viral. The most at risk people for a upper respiratory infection would be your children, your immunocompromised patients, such as those with cancer, HIV, or post-transplant patients. The elderly are also at risk, or those that live in nursing homes or group homes. Symptoms can vary. They can range from a sore throat to sinus congestion. A lot of times people will get ear discomfort. They may notice a runny nose and develop a cough, and those tend to be the most common. URIs can be treated at home. Typically, uh, we recommend that people use a humidifier, Tylenol, ibuprofen, and those that can take NSAIDs. We also recommend some of the over-the-counter medications such as Dayquil, Nyquil. Benadryl can help with stuffy nose. Mucinex and Flonase also work well to help with drainage comma, particularly in the sinuses, and to help some of the discomfort that comes from the ear pain. People should come in and be seen when their symptoms significantly worsen. They're prolonged out past a week to 10 days or if they have any questions or concerns that their health may be in jeopardy. Especially in the immunocompromised patient uh, or those that are at risk, pneumonia can set in if they aren't treated promptly or if they have shortness of breath, develop any chest pain um, or burning in their chest that seems a little more excessive than what they've had over the prior course of the illness. The best way to prevent an upper respiratory tract infection is excellent hand washing, covering your mouth when you cough or sneeze, trying to avoid those that cough and sneeze. There are, transmission is typically large and small droplet, as well as through the hand, so wiping your cart down at the grocery store or wherever you are and avoiding those that are obviously sick is your best bet to avoiding getting these.